Good morning, kids. Here's your math minute 11. Give me a second here and I'll zoom in. We'll do one through five, pause it, do six through 10, check your work, and you're moving on. So number one says multiply the numbers two times three. They give you the crescent moons here. Remember this multiplication symbol means groups of, and you'll go ahead and solve number one. Number two, write 16, 9, 20, and 7 in order from least to greatest, or in this case, smallest to biggest. Number three, what is the difference of 8 and 6? Remember, difference means subtraction, so make sure that you subtract on that one. And number four says, what is the sum of 8 and 6? And this would be the answer to an addition problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put add there. I'm going to fix my arrow. And then number five, complete the fact family. Seven plus eight equals 15. 15 minus eight equals something. Eight plus seven equals something. And 15 minus seven equals eight. So go ahead and pause your video and finish the first five and come back and check in just a second. Now that you're back, this is what your page should look like so far. Two groups of... 3 is 6, so 2 times 3 is 6. There's 6 crescent moons here if you add them all together. Or well, they look like bananas, I guess, too. Whatever it is you want to imagine there. Number 2, the order should be 7, 9, 16, and 20. Number 3, what's the difference between 8 and 6? 8 minus 6 is 2, so I put my 2 there. Number 4, what's the sum of 8 and 6? 8 plus 6 is 14 put my 14 here. Number 5, 15 minus 8 is 7, and 8 plus 7 is 15. Those should be my answers, and we're going to slide up and talk through 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 as soon as I get them on the page. Um, number 6 says this is a line, this is geometry, and you're going to circle true or false. And remember, we've been talking about line segments, Line segments end right here with the point, but a line continues on forever. And you can tell a line because it has these arrows at the end after these two points. So for this one, I'm just going to tell you, yes, you should circle true. This is a line, and if I want to be specific, this is line AB. And I would show you that if I were writing... Um, using math notations like this, it could be line AB, or it could be line BA, because lines and line segments you can either read forward or you can read backward. So those are the names of my line. Number seven, Nancy has three dimes, Joe has five nickels, who has the greater amount of money? And for questions 8 through 10, circle the figure that is congruent to the shaded figure. And just remember, congruent means same size, same shape. Congruent means same size, same shape. So take a look at the boxes below and match the same size and same shape to the shapes that are already there filled in in gray. And then come back and check your work. Now that I'm finished, I'm just going to double check. Number seven should be Nancy because three dimes is 30 cents. Joe has five nickels. That's 25 cents. And I know that 30 cents is more than 25. So Nancy has the greater amount of money. Number eight, you should have circled the letter B with the shape. Number nine, you should have circled the letter A with the shape. And number 10, you should have circled the letter D with the shape. And that finishes up Math Minute for today. We are going to get started with our math test if you, when you come to the meeting. So just make sure you stay in the meeting until you finish your math test and come back and ask questions for help. And don't forget to watch the math preview video or you can have that preview video open with you during the test so you can have the questions read to you. It's completely up to you. So good luck. Thanks, and I will see you next time. Bye.